Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial video on Code Handbook. This video is a continuation to a video that we did a couple of months ago on Angular Material Math Table. That particular video we had shown how to implement filter on your Angular Material Math Table. We had implemented a filter on this particular column gender and selection of a particular value data and that bad table got filtered accordingly. Now a couple of users has had commented on that particular video that they wanted an all option like all value inside that particular drop down which would exactly reset the data without any filters so in this video we'll see how to do that so we are simply using the same source code that we had from the previous video so in this thing first thing that i'll do is i'll add the all options inside the drop down so here you can see that we have the gender options which are being set based on the data from the api response so what i'll do is once the data has been set i'll simply add the all options inside the drop down like push it to the top one i'll simply concat it with existing options okay. now we should be able to see the all options inside the drop down now on selection of drop down we need to handle that all selection so this is the on change event for that thing what i'll do is i'll hit check here i'll check the value of the selections That is equal to all. What I'll simply do is I'll simply reset the data source to the data from the API. So the data from the API is in this variable response. And the else portion, I'll simply do what it, I was already doing. I'll be filtering the data based on the gender selection. Now this should be good. Just save the data. Go to the application so here you can see by default we haven't made any selections as so far so like let's select for female first it filters the data based on female users if i go to male it filters the data based on male if i go to all it simply puts in every data here it doesn't filter based on any data so i hope it's working uh, i hope you find this video useful do let me know your thoughts and suggestions or any uh, tutorial requests in the comments below Thanks for watching.